Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with my Keto Lifestyle. And this is my cuppa. And this is raucous and roasty and raucous from Wicked Joe's Coffee up in Maine and um, that I'm using for my morning off in my new French press, my cute little silver or yeah, stainless steel um, French press. It's just fun. It's just a little way to add a little elegance into the day. Yes, here I am in my bathrobe, but it's still <laughs> elegant to me. Our new lifestyle, right? Where it's not back to school clothes. It's, it's back to, you know, new lounging outfits from the bottom down. Although I did buy two new pairs of jeans yesterday and I was happy. And they were the right size that fit me, so I'm happy with that. And um, all is well with the world. I'm, um, I well, I shouldn't say all is well. I'm having issues because um, of my little Uber accident, and they won't let me drive until I get it fixed, even though it's some damage to the bumper, and you can't even see it when you stand up because of the, the shape of the front of the car. So I've got a month of no, no income from Uber and, and they aren't returning my call. It's a mess. It's a mess. So I spent that yesterday and boy, oh boy, did I want to emotionally eat at it. And to tell you the truth, I did a wee bit. I did. Um, am I proud of that? No. But I was so frustrated with, with the no answer answers and, um, and I'm human, and that's how that goes. But um, back on track today, and all my food is logged, and in a little bit, I will go back into the kitchen and do some prepping for the day before I do my Lyft and Instacart. And um, it was funny, the cashiers at one of the stores, I was doing Instacart, and, and she's sweet and has a bubbly personality. And she said, you know, I applied for Instacart. And I said, did you? Good. And she said, yeah, they told me there's a five month at least waiting list. And I went, wow. So I was wondering how they were handling it because I figured, well, a lot of people would be doing it as there were no other places. The Cape is a resort area. And so if they lose their jobs at, you know, summer only type places, then they're looking for some, you know, ka work. And so I'm glad that there's a cap on it at least for me selfishly so I can continue to make some money where I'm not making any with with the um, Uber. But I'm happy and hopefully things will come together a little bit more today. I'm sure that all of you have had these sort of hassles in life where you've had to, you know, swallow hard and, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, say nothing and all of that sort of stuff with, with the way that it's all going. But I have an appointment in place um, three weeks from now, four weeks from, yeah, four weeks from now for my car because they're so backed up. But it is what it is. And so, like I said, I swallow hard and there's nothing in there to swallow. <laughs> Enjoy my cuppa in my French press and carry on. <laughs> so um, my lifestyle is working for me. And I appreciate all the feedback um, from how I'm wearing my hair now to more. This isn't completely done yet. You wouldn't really see this if, if it was completely done. This part gets hidden. But it's funny because I used to, back in my 30s, I had hair even longer than this. And I would put it in a bun and I would have this um, little poof thing in the front, kind of like an, a little old granny um, bun and um, people always commented on it and I wore it with big earrings and now with my mask out there in the public and my big earrings and my little puff on the top I I get a lot of compliments <laughs> I, it is kind of funny when you think of it it's like the new look with your mask you know so but the big earrings I guess detract along with the little puff on top and so I carry on in the stores and I, you know, shop for my, my keto 
I admit I have lots of different little veggies when I have my keto meal, and um, but I do get plenty of protein and fats too, but I do like the veggies. And in a perfect world, they're under 20 total calorie uh, carbs every day. Sometimes they even hover, you know, under 12 total carbs. And that seems to be a nice place for me. And buying the jeans in my um, size is a nice place to be and get the um, validation that like, yeah, you're still doing the right thing. Even though I had some emotional eating, it, it is what it is. And that's how we sometimes handle frustrations. Um, so anyway, um, I'm happy with with the way things are going. I'm watching videos as usual. I'm watching my new TV shows. Life is good. Life is okay. And we're getting into the cooler days of fall. Um, getting into, well, we're into November. And so um, it's it's sweater weather and maybe a little past sweater weather. Maybe it's just a um, little jacket with a sweater underneath weather. And I like it. It's, it's a good time of the year. <clears throat> so I don't plan to discontinue anything and um, grateful for what I have and not for what I don't have, which is a really good place to come from every morning as I wake up and I'm grateful for another chance to do it. <clears throat> seven months ago when I fell and I couldn't walk, that was not a grateful time, right? That was a tough time to go through. So now I'm glad that my back surgery worked and I can do a little Instacat and I can do <clears throat> life on life's terms, as they say. Where's my voice today? Hmm. So anyway, it's rather a short one, but um, life gets briefer and briefer the less contact I have with John and Jane Q Public. Maybe it's the same for you too. I hope this was long enough to at least dive in a wee bit to your coffee and that you plan to have a good day. And I will see you the next time. Your, your viewing and your comments sustain me, I have to say. It's a weird time, as you know. It's lonely at times. It's just awkward, odd, and um, not getting any better here in Massachusetts. And so um, it's nice to have my friends here on my channel and I appreciate and love you all. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.